Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a, a little bit of a different problem, a little break from some of the order of operations, but uh, in this one, we've got um, Sarah, who's been taking some math tests, uh, doing pretty well. Uh, she scored a 95, 87, 85, 93, and a 94 on her first five mathematics tests. Uh, if she wants to end up with a 90 average, what must her score be on the final test? So, uh, yeah, if she wants to get a, an average of at least 90 or above, uh, what would be the minimum score that she would need on her last test? Well, if you'd like to at this point, you can pause the video, try to work this one out, um, and we'll come back and work it out together. All right, well, this one's pretty simple. Um, if you remember how to calculate averages, um, you know, basically when you're calculating averages, you're adding up all the different test scores. Uh, we know that she's taken five tests and she's going to take a, a, another test. She's gonna take a final test, which would make six tests, right? So we, what we have to do is we have to add up all of her scores. Let me put on my... Uh, pointer here, but basically we have to add up all of her scores and then divide those by the number of total tests, which would be six. She's taken five tests. She's going to take a final test. That's five plus one. So the number of tests altogether would be six. Uh, and then on the numerator here, we're going to add up all the scores. Now, the one score that we have no idea about is the final score. We don't know what that is. So we're going to assign a variable x to that. So you can see here in our numerator, we've got 95 plus 87 plus 85 plus 93 plus 94 plus x, all divided by 6, and that should equal 90. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what x is. Well, that should be pretty simple from here if we want to break this down. Um, again, here's, here's the equation that we've come up with. We know that the score, we're trying to shoot for this 90 average. So uh, what we can do is we can multiply both sides of this equation by 6. And that gets rid of our fraction here. We've got this uh, you know, big numerator over this denominator. We want to get rid of that and simplify it. So if we multiply both sides by 6, we're just going to end up with this part, just the numerator on the left. Now on the right side, what is 90? times 6. You know, we're going to multiply the right side by the same value. So 90 times 6 is 540. So I hope you understand that. Whatever you do on the left side of an equation, you have to do the same thing on the right side to keep everything equal. So all we're doing is we're multiplying both sides by 6. So we're going to get 95 plus 87 plus 85 plus 93 plus 94 plus x equals 540. All right, well, from there, we're just trying to isolate x, right? So that's pretty easy. Um, let's add up all these numbers. Let's add up the numbers that we know over here on the left. That would be all of these. Well, these all add up to 454. So we can further simplify the equation and write it out as 454 plus x equals 540. Uh, now, from here, it gets pretty easy. All we have to do is, again, do the same thing on both sides. We want to get x by itself. Well, how do we do that? We need to get rid of this 454. Well, we can't just erase it. What we have to do is we have to subtract 454 from the left side of the equation, and we have to subtract 454 from the right side of the equation. Well, on the left side, it's pretty easy. If we subtract 454, we're just going to get x, right, on the left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, we'll have 540 minus 454. Well, x equals 540 minus 454 equals 86. So that means that Sarah needs to get at least an 86. If she wants to get a 90, then she would have to score, if she wants to end up with exactly a 90 average, she would have to score an 86 on the sixth test. So if she's shooting for a 90 or higher, the lowest score she can get is an 86.
So I hope that's been helpful. I hope that uh, helps you remember how to go through and, and work out averages. I thought this was just a nice little simple problem to kind of go over that uh, whole concept. Um, hopefully that's been easy for you. Um, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing uh, if the video has been helpful at all to you. And um, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.